Well, it's Thursday. Welcome back. We're glad you joined us today. We're glad we joined you. We're glad. Nice break in our day also. And uh, to think about the things of the Lord and to encourage you, that's always a blessing um, for us. I heard someone, oh, I know who it was. It was. I watched a TV show last night where Michael Buble did something nice for somebody. Did you watch that? No, I didn't watch Well, that. he did something nice for somebody and they redid a house, the Property Brothers. And he had a quote that his grandfather said. His grandfather said that giving is the most selfish thing that you can do because you get so much in return mm. and I loved oh. I loved that it just made me stop I'll never forget that giving is the most selfish thing you can do because of the blessing that you get and so we're blessed by being able to give and to share with our friends today Deuteronomy 31 8 is a, a loved verse here at Keswick and let me read the words to you again in case you say them just by memory the Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid or be discouraged.
tremendous uh, encouragement from remembering that mm. he will never leave us or forsake us. When I was picking out the hymns, I've been uh, struck with how some of the stories behind the hymns are so appropriate for where we are living today. And you realize that, that people have struggled with things like we are struggling with today for, for many, many years. But the next song we're going to play is called God Will Take Care of You. It was written by Sevilla Martin. She was a school teacher. Simple musical experience. But she and her husband, Walter, often wrote gospel songs for revival meetings. And God Will Take Care of You is one of those examples. It was composed while the Martins were spending several weeks as guests at the Practical Bible Training School in New York, mm. where Mr. Martin was involved in helping the president of the school, John Davis, prepare a songbook. Uh, Reverend Martin was uh, a well-known Baptist evangelist. He was invited to preach at a church some distance from the Bible school, but that Sunday morning, Mr. Mar Mrs. Martin became suddenly ill, making it impossible for her to accompany her husband to his speaking engagement. So Mr. Martin seriously considered canceling his speaking assignment, since it would be needful for him to be gone from her for a considerable time. Just then, their young son spoke up and said, Father, don't you think that if God wants you to preach today, he will take care of mother while you are away? Sevilla Martin describes creating the composition after inspired by the words of her son. God Will Take Care of You was written on Sunday afternoon while my husband went to a preaching appointment. When he returned... I gave the words to him. He immediately sat down to his little organ and wrote the music. That evening, he and two of the teachers sang the completed song. It was then printed in the songbook he was compiling for the school. That songbook seems to have been in Songs of Redemption and Praise, uh, curated by Walter Martin and the president of the school, John Davis. Pretty cool. And those words are so powerful for what we're experiencing today. Be not dismayed, whate'er be tied. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. No matter what may be the test, God will take care of you. Lean weary one upon his breast. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. Through every day or all the way, he will take care of you. God will take care of you. It's not that we hope he will, That's right. or he might, or he could. He will.
you know, as we come before the Lord and we offer him praise because we're so grateful that he has promised that he'd be faithful. And even when we don't have, we're not overflowing with joy, as we go before him and we're just obedient and we worship him, there's something that just begins to heal our soul and begins to give us that joy bubbling up over because all we've offered is a broken hallelujah and he begins to do the work of healing in our lives. I'm so glad that he's been faithful to do that and I know that he will be faithful to do that for you as well. I come before you, Lord. My heart's in a thousand pieces, maybe even more. Yet I trust in this moment you're with me somehow, because you've always been so, Lord, even now, when all that I can sing is a broken alleluia, and my only offering is shattered praise, may the song of adoration rise up from these ruins, and I will worship you and give you thanks.
We appreciate you watching every day. I want to encourage you at 2.30 to join us for the Keswick Ripple podcast. Jim Lang is going to be interviewing one of our colony residents who has a great testimony. We're thankful that we can continue the ministry of Barbara's Place and the Colony of Mercy during these crazy shutdown days. It's nice to have the, the students here and the guys. And then I want to remind you that 7 o'clock tonight, Walk Through the Bible is going to be doing another presentation called Home Team. You can find that on our website. You can also find that on Walk Through the Bible site. You will be blessed by the ministry of Phil Tuttle. We're here to pray for you, to encourage you. Between the hours of 8 and 4, Monday through Friday, you can call 1-800-453-7942. One of our staff would love to have an opportunity to pray with you and for you. And do leave a comment if you've enjoyed the broadcast today. And one of the great things that you can do on social media is share this video with others. Until tomorrow, God bless you.